Hello to Gizmac here and today I'm going to talk about what frustrates me about GTA Online. Now I also want to get your thoughts on this. Just tell me in the comments what frustrates you and what angers you about GTA Online. You know, this could be anything that Rockstar has done, that they've patched, or uh, pretty much anything at all. Um, now, I have a list here, but I, none of them are like, oh, the servers or something like that. I'm not really going to go into that. I'm going to be talking about just stuff that they've either patched that I didn't really like or something like that or even stuff that the community does that just kind of frustrates me a lot and these aren't like huge at all but they're just some gripes that I have with GTA Online. The first one is people that use inferior guns and this is somebody who goes into like a own puss pickups deathmatch or something and uses like a, an assault rifle or something just your standard assault rifle even though that weapon is inferior to the advanced rifle the advanced rifle is the best assault rifle in the game nobody can argue that because it has every stat it's best in the same with you know somebody that uses like the special carbine or something i just don't understand it you know somebody it's also like somebody who uses the mg compared to the combat mg i just don't understand it much or a sniper versus the heavy sniper the heavy sniper is pretty much better in every stat aside from maybe the magazine size but that's about it for that weapon. Then next, another thing that frustrates me is people that play Concrete 24-7. I just don't really understand why people play Concrete 24-7. Like, it's not a terrible map. You know, it's not the worst deathmatch I've ever played. But still, I just don't understand why somebody could play it that long, you know. It, it kind of just gets boring to me. Maybe it's just me. But I just don't understand why people just play concrete, or trapped in concrete that is, and that's the only deathmatch that they play. I just don't understand it. So the next thing is something that really frustrates me is the cooldown on requesting personal vehicles. Why did Rockstar even put this in the game? I don't know if it was either in Ilgotten Games Part 1 or Part 2. I'm pretty sure it was in Part 2, but it may have been in Part 1. But why? Why did Rockstar have to do this? I, I, I don't know. You know, it's just kind of frustrating, like, they've had it on the mechanic, but if you went into your action menu, it used to be where there wasn't a cooldown on it. And now there is. You have to wait something like five minutes or something after you request your personal vehicle. Another thing that could be added in this is, like, oh, you're too close to your personal vehicle. They used to have it where, um, you, if you were too close to your garage, you couldn't call your vehicle. I'm pretty sure that was patched. But yeah, well, why are there those restrictions on requesting personal vehicles? You know, I could see, like, maybe if you're already in the vehicle, then you shouldn't be able to do it. But why can't you be that close to your vehicle? I, I just never understood that as well. But the main thing is re the cooldown on requesting personal vehicles. Because I don't even know why they put it in the game. Like, I, I don't know. Another thing that really frustrates me is people that use bulletproof helmets. I just hate anybody who uses a bulletproof helmet. Like, it's cheap. It really is. And sure, I've seen some people argue, like, oh, it's in the game, you know, uh, why wouldn't you have it? But at the same time, my argument is, like, are you that bad that you have to use a, an equipment piece that makes you better, you know, or, you know, ha make you have more health on your head? Like, I can understand maybe armor, like, just standard armor and stuff. That I can kind of see, even snacking, that, that can work as well. But just bulletproof helmets, I don't like them. And I get really frustrated whenever I'm in a deathmatch with somebody who does use them. Because there's really no counter to it. Unless maybe you want to like blow them up or something. Or use a bulletproof helmet yourself. But then at that point you're just fighting fire with fire. Another thing is people that complain about not having money. I see this so many times in like YouTube comments and stuff. Maybe, you know, if they don't have much time. But even then, it's not that hard to make money in this game. I, like I used to be somebody who was like, you know, whenever the game came out. I was like, eh, it could be a little bit easier to make money in this game, but now, they're, I don't, I never complain about it. Because maybe it's just because I have quite a bit of money, I have about 4 mil, and I usually stay around there in this game. But, I, you know, I just, I feel like a lot of these people, like, all they do is just play free mode all day. And I'm like, you, you know you can just play, like, some jobs or something and make a lot of money. You could probably play a decently sized playlist with maybe about 8 or 10 jobs. Which won't take you that long, it'll probably take you about an hour or two. And you could probably get upwards of $100,000 for that. So if you want like a, you know, good supercar like a Centorno or an Entity or something, you're only going to have to do that about, you know, eight, seven times. So it's not that hard. And if you want like a T20 or something, you can do that. You can do like a lot of them. I even have a video uh, from a while ago, a few 
few months ago talking about how you can make money in G2 Online. It's pretty simple. I also feel like a lot of these people don't play the events that go on because they go on for quite a while. You know, whenever somebody complains about not having enough money or that the heist money is too low, it's not. Like, I, I really don't think that it is. Especially whenever, like, a few months ago, they were doing double money and RP in heist. So, I've never really understood the argument, like, oh, you know, the money's too low or something. Because you can make a lot of money. It takes a while. It does take a while. But if you have the time, and it, and you can't just, you know, instantly have millions of dollars. Maybe that's just because in the past you kind of were able to with mods and stuff. But now that most money glitches are patched and most mods, aside from maybe PC mods, are patched and you can't really gift people money unless maybe you are on PC, then that is possible. But um, yeah, I just don't understand uh, why people think that the money is too low. But one thing that does frustrate me about this game is that people complain about not having enough money. Finally, one thing that's just kind of a pet peeve with me is people that have pink tint on their guns. Like, I, I, I just find it super ugly, and I just can't stand somebody that has, like, a pink tint on their gun. That's just something very small, not, not necessarily frustrating, but still something I want to put on the list because, yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not a big fan of pink tint at all. And honestly, I don't like whenever somebody else has it. So, yeah, those are just some things that frustrate me about the game. But let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. And let me know your, like, list or something. You know, just put a few things down in the comments. You know, things that frustrate you. Things that, things that make you mad about the game. And try and say something that hasn't really been said before. Don't go like, oh, the servers are terrible and stuff. Which they are. But, you know, just something that, you know, not many people complain about as well. That's what I wanted to do in this video. Just some things that frustrate me about the game. But let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. Hope you enjoy. Feedback is with Prishna. I'll see you guys in the next video.